the Rothman Institute presents Take 5 on Hawks All Access. Hawk fans, another edition of Take 5 here on St. Joseph's All Access, SJUHawks.com, as the men's soccer team wrapping up its season. Just a couple of matches left, two matches to be exact, and two matches means we have two guests here on Take 5 on St. Joseph's All Access, and I promise you, you're, you're not seeing double, you're not going senile. These two are two seniors and two twins. It's uh, Brennan and Colin Riley. Welcome. Thanks for having me. Thank you for having me also. Well, uh, a couple seniors and wrapping up your time here at St. Joseph's. First thing uh, for both of you, biggest memory you know, as far as uh, SJU. When you leave here, what's the thing you're going to miss the most? I mean, I feel my biggest memory actually just happened. We just beat um, number 24 VCU. It's one of like the, the, definitely the biggest one of my career here. And they're like one of the top teams in the A10. So, and it was senior day, which made it my last home game, which made it pretty memorable. Yeah, extra special. Yeah. I would have to say probably VCU as well. Or uh, last year we won in overtime our first game, and our goalie, Drew Diotavi, actually went to celebrate on our whole pile. And if you see the video, he completely misses the pile when he goes to jump. <laughs> like literally not even – he doesn't even come within two yards of the pile. He's just completely over. And our coach's wife actually – you can see her pointing and laughing at him. So that's probably top two best moments at SJU so far. Well, uh, obviously big soccer players growing up. How much soccer do you watch, you know, when you're not playing? And as far as uh, the popularity of the sport, what do you what do you think the reason is uh, that it's grown? Is it the TV coverage, success of the national team? What is it that's made soccer uh, kind of revitalized here in the U.S.? I think a big part of it is the success of the national team. I mean, I watch a lot of the European leagues as well as the MLS. I probably watch the European leagues more. But definitely, if the U.S. team's not doing well, no one's really interested in soccer as a whole, but if they're succeeding, more kids are going to want to play, and soccer is available more than it has been in the past nowadays, so everyone plays. What about you, Brennan? How's uh, how's the U.S. team going to do in Rio? Uh, I mean, we had pretty big high hopes from them after the last World Cup where Landon Donovan scored that glorious goal to put us through the quarters. So, I mean, our, we have pretty, I mean, we're pretty doing pretty well right now. We dominate our group play, so I feel like they should go pretty far. Uh, both enrolled in the business school here at St. Joseph's, a uh, couple of accounting majors. Have you ever yes. have you thought about future plans? What are you doing after graduation? Are you, you um, maybe going to business together? Is that, that a possibility? I don't know if me and him would get along in the business together. <laughs> Probably kind of butt heads, but uh, I was thinking maybe going to the FBI. I'd maybe do some forensic accounting in there. And then he's got high hopes for himself, so... Uh, Brennan actually is more than likely going to be a stay-at-home son, and I'm looking to go to law school. I'm studying right now, and I've contemplated letting him live in my basement once I graduate. That's fantastic. He doesn't have high hopes for himself. Now, does does he get a full-blown bed, or is it going to be a cot, or what's uh, what's the deal there with the basement residence? It depends how well he cleans my pool. <laughs> That's fantastic. Uh, I know this is kind of cliche, but as twins, have you ever pulled the old the old switcheroo, the old the old parent trap deal? Yeah, all the time when I was younger. Like in high school, I got in trouble and the, one of the teachers would be like, which one are you? I would say Brennan every single time. Did it work? Yeah. Is there, I never wore an ID and they didn't take the time to tell the difference between us. And my mom still can't to this day tell the difference between us. So I go by twin like 90% of the time. Every, all my friends call me twin. That way you can't mess it up. And there's probably not been a day where I haven't been called Brendan. So I'm immune to it. <laughs> What happened now? Did mom and dad find out? Is the question. Uh, well, my mom made it easy when we were babies. She marked one of our toes with a sharpie, so you could tell us apart. But well, that's yeah. good. At least it was. She still gets us confused. It's, ri it's ridiculous. She can't really. I mean, my dad knows, but my mom, she gets us confused sometimes. It's pretty funny. At least it was the non-permanent marker, right? Yeah, it came right off. Thankfully. Final question for you both: uh, If you could choose any pair of teammates, two-on-two -two basketball. And the, obviously the object of the game is to win here. So who are you choosing? Who's, uh, you know, who's the pushover? Who are the two that you can, you can mop the floor with, basically? Two on two, I'd probably say I'd go with um, definitely Jim Riley. Definitely have to say Jim Riley. Yeah, I'm sure he's got his pick. Are you asking like if who we would beat two on two? Yeah, who would you uh, beat? Definitely Jim Riley probably would be the easiest on our uh, team to beat. And probably Sam Possessor, our uh, 
one of our goalies, him and Jim would probably be the easiest to push over and beat. Who's better at basketball of the two of you? Uh, actually, Brendan has never once in his life beaten one on one. Is that true? He considers himself better in the game, which I don't really care because one on one I beat him every single time. That's a lot better. Well, here, yeah, you have to, you have to let him. You, you have to give him a rebuttal. You can lie to the camera, if you please. Well, uh, Colin, yeah, he could beat me one on one because he's clearly a little heavier than me. But in the actual game, I was a lot better than him. I'm a better team player. I know how to play the game. He just backs me down, so it's kind of cheating. Can't get around him. Well, I appreciate the time. This has certainly been one of our more uh, informative additions to Take 5, and uh, we wish you both the best of luck. Good luck with that basement living arrangement. I'll try. Thanks. That's both Brendan and Colin Riley, a pair of twins, a pair of seniors here on St. Joseph's Hawks men's soccer. Just a couple of matches left. They head down to GW uh, before the weekend, and then they will head to Fordham on Sunday before they wrap up their season. It's another edition of Take 5 here on St. Joseph's All Access. I'm Matt Martucci. We'll see you next time.